In this video, we are going to find the area of a triangle. As a review, last night you watched a video on the area of rectangles, squares, and parallelograms. We learned that the formula to find the area for those shapes was base times height. So you would multiply how much the base is by how much the height is. Triangle is similar to this, so if we take away half of this rectangle, and if we take away half of this square, and if we take away half of this parallelogram, we are left with triangles. So based on that knowledge, so going back, we know that for the rectangle, square, and parallelogram, the area is base times height. Looking at these, if we're chopping off half of each of them to get a triangle, I would like you in your notebook to write down your prediction as to what the formula is to find the area of a triangle. So right now you're writing down your prediction. Again, if for these shapes it's base times height, what would it be for triangles if we're just chopping a rectangle in half, chopping a square in half, and chopping a parallelogram in half? And write your prediction down in your notebook now. So we're going to kind of talk about it. So again, if the formula to find the area of a rectangle, square, or parallelogram is base times height, and a triangle is half of a rectangle, square, or parallelogram, the formula is going to be area equals half of the base times height, or area equals base times height divided by 2. Either of these formulas is going to get you the right answer. In the first formula, we are just multiplying one half times the base and times the height. And in this formula, we're taking the base times the height and then just dividing it by two. Both of these formulas will get you the correct answer when you're finding the area of a triangle. Here is homework question number one. What is the formula to find the area of a triangle? Hint, there may be more than one answer. So go ahead, answer this on your Google form and move on. Okay, just a quick review of the base and height of a triangle. The base is going to be what that triangle sits on, and the height is going to be how tall that triangle is. So if we turn this triangle this way, we have the base along the bottom, and the height would then come over here. If we turn the triangle to sit on this base, so if it's sitting downward like this, we would still have the base below, but our height would have to come up through the center. It would have to come from, let's show you so you can see it here, the middle of the top down to the bottom. And often you'll see that as a dotted line. I'm even going to move this over so it's perfectly from the middle. Oops. Perfectly from the middle downward. Let's see. Right there, perfect, would be our height if we turned that triangle to sit this way. All right, so looking at this first example, we have half of the base times the height for our formula, which could also be base times height divided by two. So here we have our base is five, and we have a height of eight. So our formula tells us to multiply the base times the height. So five times eight is going to equal 40. And now we have a second step. This is how this is different from parallelograms and rectangles. Our second step is to divide it by 2 or to cut it in half. And we know that half of 40 is 20. So our answer is 20 inches. And since we're finding area, squared. Looking at the second example, notice that they give us the height of the diagonal here, but we cannot count that as the height because the height is actually how tall the triangle is from its tip vertex down to the bottom of the base. So this over here is going to be our height, and what the triangle sits on is our base. Again, we're going to do base times height, just like we would for a rectangle or a parallelogram, so 12 times 7, which is... 84, but then second step, since it is a triangle, which is half of a rectangle, we're going to need to cut it in half. So 84 
divided by 2, or half of 84 would be 42, and our unit is centimeters. And we're finding area, so we're going to square it. Here is homework question 2. The question is, what is the area of this triangle? So please figure it out in your notebook and enter it onto your Google form. I have a really quick trick for you here that's going to help you when finding the area of triangles. So our formula, which is half of the base times the height, or base times height divided by 2, so we have half of the base times the height, you can actually do that half step before you even start the problem. So if I have an even number like 14, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop that in half to begin with. So instead of 14, I'm just going to call it 7. And then I can just multiply the height times the base. So 9 times 7 is 63. And there's my answer. So instead of halving it at the end, you can sometimes just half it at the beginning, especially if it's an even number. So let's try one more of those. If I plop a triangle in here. So let's say the base is 12 and the height is 5. Again, what we can do is, it would be hard to chop 5 in half because we'd have to be working with decimals. We'd have to say 2.5, which isn't a fun number to work with. But since 12 is even, we're just going to chop that in half and make it a 6. And now we've done our half part of the formula, and we just do base times height. So our answer here would be 30. So really quick and easy trick if you wanted to use this. Make sure you write this trick down in your notebook so you know you can use it when finding the area of triangles. All right, sometimes you're going to see triangles in a grid where you're going to have to count the number of sides. So here's my trick for you when doing this. A lot of kids want to count the squares. They want to see how many squares fit along the bottom. And then they'll get to this last one here and they'll see like, oh, wait, that's only half of a square. So is this three and a half? An easy way so that you don't get this wrong is to not count the squares. Instead, we're going to count the actual lines. So looking at the bottom or the base of this triangle, we have one line, two lines, three lines, four lines. So the base of this triangle is four. Up the side, we have one line, two lines, three lines, four lines. And I'm going to use our quick trick from the page before. So I'm just going to chop this in half at the beginning. And now just multiply the base times the height. 4 times 2, the answer would be 8 centimeters squared. Okay, looking here, our base is what this sits on. So our triangle can't sit on this diagonal. It wouldn't sit flat. It would fall down. So we're going to count this as the base, this line here. So let's count the lines again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have a base of 12 and we have a height of 1, 2, 3, 4. We could cut either of these numbers in half, but I'm going to cut the bigger one in half. So I'm going to make that a 6. So now I've done half. I've done that part of the formula. Now I just multiply the base times the height. 6 times 4 is 24 feet. And make sure that you square that. Here's homework question three. You're going to look at A, B, C, D, and E and find the area for each of these triangles. Then you're going to go to your Google form and you're going to answer the question, which triangles to the right over here have the same area? So you're going to find the area of each of these and see which ones of them have the same area. Homework question four. A triangle has a base of 16 centimeters and a height of 19 centimeters what is the area of the triangle? And homework question number five is a challenge question. So do your best to answer it. Everyone should try it. And it will not count towards your score for this homework assignment. But a tip for you is that there will be a question like this on your Unit 9 test. So you can get used to seeing problems like this. It says, Janelle wants to build a triangular garden with an area of 24 feet squared. What could the base and height of her garden be? So you're thinking about a triangular garden that's already made and it's 24 feet squared. Now you're thinking about if that triangle is 24 feet squared, 
what could a base be for that triangle and what could a height be for that triangle? And there's a hint here, there could be more than one answer for this. When you write your answer on your Google form, write your answer as number, common number. So maybe I think the base is 10 and I think the height is 8. So I'm going to write 10, 8 into my Google form. Thanks for doing your homework tonight and we will see you tomorrow.